Big Kappa tries to go in. Lots of damage coming out from Red the Chair. He gets a shield, but Woman Appreciator's right here, and Handy Kappa doesn't see this. That's an easy kill for Woman Appreciator on the cane, but on the side, that's gonna be a ASG able to get that dragon. This fight it will begin. Piplup gets knocked up, immediately gets deleted. We are here to clean up this fight. Olympus Amber sends a teleport. That's Red the Chair joining for this fight. Toke Life is now here as well. Everyone just coming in one by one, and it's now a 3v3. Olympus Amber able to actually save this fight and kills Potato Fries. Double kill for Woman Appreciator. And that's gonna be Toke Life starting the fight with Rel. Happy Ending gets barely deleted. Aqua Ending goes down. Handy Capo takes down Toke Life, and it's now three versus three right now for this fight. This fight is still so even. Potato Fries, Potato Fries trying to find a way in, but two fights on happening on two different sides. Lin Bloom gets really low. Lin Bloom goes down. This is Olympus Amber just perfectly in the driver's seat right now. They don't even have to do anything. They can just force these mini waves. Oh, but Potato Fries is in here with the flank. ASG is looking for a fighting chance while they have Baron. And Happy Ending is able to stay alive from Moon Appreciator. But ASG has to start kiting. That's too many ASG members down. Olympus Amber able to just wipe the floor from that engage. I respect the engage there. I respect Welcome back, gamers. Welcome back. It is me, Chris Sunga, back at it with you uh, with another FOF, FOF match. We have INT versus Fat Pikachu. Uh, I'll be your play-by-play -play caster today, and my color with me today will be my good old friend Beanjar. Beanjar, how are you, sir? I am doing great. I'm so excited to see a lot of old players that I do remember. Bow Explode in the jungle. Yeah. I particularly like... I'm kind of a fan, but... I'm hearing Fat Pikachu has some insane win streaks going on. Yeah, Fat Pikachu currently 4-0 uh, right now. This is the team that everyone wants to beat. This is the team that is currently uh, lossless at the moment. And back then when you were casting, you might have seen INT actually on that side of the coin. INT used to be the ones dominating our, our league, making sure that they, they went lossless the whole way through. But completely different scenario this time around this season. They're currently 0-4. They have not picked up. A win yet so far kind of jarring to see don't you think yeah how the turn tables i think they're just tilted off the face of the earth i mean <laughs> maybe they can pick it up now like i i have full faith because i've seen what they can do and i know kenny yeah. hammer spike goes very hard in it yeah they do bow explode has always been the type of player to always be able to turn things around a gragas nautilus misfortune picked up in the first round of int we're waiting on the third pick from fat pikachu but int uh, obviously looking for a win right now. I mean, um, we'll, we'll, we'll mention that, you know, a couple of INT members uh, have just arrived. They were on vacation for a little bit. Um, so they now kind of have their starting players back at it, back in action. So we'll see how it looks like. Um, Evolve Noob is not here uh, in the mid lane today. Uh, Pagtropis, INT substitute, is in today. Um, so we'll see how he's able to play against the undefeated Fat Pikachu. But Syndra, Trundle, and Orin picked up from the side of Fat Pikachu. First round picks already done. Thoughts on these first picks, Beanjar? Well, of course, when you see the Orn, I automatically think like an insane late game that they're playing for. Trundle, Syndra, nice picks that can go out, especially with the Orn ultimate. However, when I see the Gragas Nautilus Misfortune, I'm of course going to expect that they're going to try and invade two minutes in, or, you know, as soon as they can, especially with the yeah. Tarek late game too, yeah. It seems they have very different win conditions here. Yeah, Fat Pikachu going to look for them some of that early aggression. Fat Pikachu being that team to always have uh, good jungle mid pressure uh, towards these early FOF uh, matches. Victor picked up on the side of INT. That's a classic evolved noob pick, but I don't think he's playing today unless he is and the graphic is wrong. We don't know. Um, but Victor picked up for the side of INT. Very, uh, for lack of a better word, obvious picks for INT right now. J4 over for Bow Explode. This is a very classic INT Wombo Combo team. Oh my God, is that... uh, no, I just noticed that Raptor was playing a support. Oh, yes. And... yes. Raptor is now player. Yeah. That That's crazy? insane. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. No, I'm really excited for this because I just I just see a bunch of old faces and yeah. I'm very, very uh, excited for this. I love the Victor being pulled out. I think one of the more difficult champions, but 
very much rewarding with the misfortune into the Jarvan ult into just everything. They have solid team fights, and that's more of the spectacle that we're gonna see. Yep. Agree. Okay, picks are all done. We have Gragas, Nautilus, Misfortune, Victor, J4 for INT, Syndra, Trundle, Orin, Tarek, Ezreal for the side of Fat Pikachu. Uh, I think we're almost ready for the game. We'll see if we'll get the transition soon. But very excited to see these gamers go out. Um, yeah, okay, I don't know if we're ready for a game yet. Uh, Who do you think is going to win? Oh, there we go. You're good, you're good. Thank you, production. Uh, who do I think is going to win? I bet 5k on In the Trees just now. Because I believe, I have a chance, I, I genuinely believe this is the time for INT to turn it around and try to get these wins. Because we know they're a good team. This isn't a last place oh, team that we look at and we're, we say, yeah, they're going to be bottom of power rankings or whatever. Like, even in power rankings on the Friend of Folk Connect, they still are placing INT um, higher than, than last place. I will bet you a dollar that Fat Pikachu wins. I will... I will... Okay, I will commit. I will commit to this. I will commit to the dollar bet. Um, I we, mean, we if you would like to can... switch it up, I mean, we could always. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not. We can I'm quit not whenever a... we want. Not, we don't have. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I'm. I'm sticking with my five k bet. I'll bet you the one. Okay, you sure. I'll, I'll, yeah, okay, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll virtual handshake for it. We'll Let's we'll go, bet we'll bet a dollar on each game and then we'll rack it up. Maybe end of the season, I'll take you out. To yeah, I I can quit whenever I want. I don't have. Yeah. They say 99% okay. of gamblers quit before they hit Nick. True, true, true. I'm going to get a gazillion points from this. This is true. Speaking <laughs> of gambling, get those points in. Um, prediction poll is up. Uh, you can bet on Fat Pikachu or In the Trees. Uh, it seems like I'm the only In the Trees believer right now. That's okay. Oh. Uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see. We'll see how the Which game goes. means the ratio is super high. You're, you're going to yeah, get a yeah. massive That's payout. That's true. If INT wins, my payout will be huge. <laughs> So I'm, I was hoping for an invade, but it seems not. But I do yep. see a lot of shenanigans in the bot lane. It makes them assume that they're starting bot side, even when okay. they started top. Great. <laughs> Raptor going in for the level one immediately gets Nautilus hooked. I al he already has to expend the heal. I was about to say, what what kind of Ezreal Tarek shenanigans can you even do like level one so early? Um, but looked like Raptor really wanted to commit to that level one. Um, Blackpink Trash just wanted the free easy Q. Um, this does mean Kenny Hammerspike has to start chugging health pots, um, which is more, for lack of better phrasing, lethal than than the support doing it. Well, albeit with refillables and the biscuits as well, true, I'll true, be pretty safe until jungler interruptions Ooh. from Trundle pathing downwards. It's pretty nice overall. Trundle clears super fast and shouldn't really be contested. The Jarvan, however, getting an early back. Oh, oh, bow explode! Nice flash drag. Uh, going on to Jakunk, has to force Syndra Flash out. Uh, gonna get some trade kills, no actual kill given over to either side. But that is now a flashless mid laner, which is gonna be a target for Bow Explode later on. Easy pickings for a Jarvan to just knock up whenever he wants. Um, for Bow Explode, I'm glad to see that he's playing pretty confident with this Jarvan getting the early yes. best he needs. Clears one half, ganks mid, clears the other half. I assume goes top or back from there. Yeah, I, I appreciate the confidence. Uh, from that EQ flash. Not a whole lot of FF players would try to go for that on camera, but Bow Explode, yeah. very confident, very confident on the FOF stage. Uh, but Jakunk getting a lot of free damage onto Progtropus, and Kenny Train is here. He's gonna have to flash out. Kenny Train follows forward with the flash. Ooh, the stun is gonna land, but Syndra lands that final Q onto Progtropus, and first blood goes over to Fat Pikachu. Hopefully, you got those prediction points in, and it's not looking good for me, but. <laughs> You know, we'll, we'll get, we'll I get still there. have tons of faith. Still flashless, has the teleport. Kenny yeah. Train has great pressure all over the map just because of the early dominance that this Trundle might have and sustain in these 1v1s, 2v2s overall. Yeah. We're going to see I a lot of good fundamentals. Yeah. yeah. Raptor also being really aggressive in the bot lane is super hilarious um, to me. Uh, oh, I love a it. lot of a, a lot of the trades, in my opinion, don't make sense to me, but it's working out for him, uh, and he's getting through, uh, getting a lot of damage going unpunished. Pagtropis. I totally thought they would be punished by he just yeah, locks, right. like that hook goes crazy. Yeah, but lucky for Raptor, psychopath support playing is usually what, what that's called, but it works out. Raptor gets hooked, but immediately goes for the exhaust stun on a Kenny Hammer spike. It doesn't work out though, and his aggressiveness has now been punished. 
Rap Terror goes down in favor of In the Trees. Kenny Train, though, now right behind this bot lane, able to try to force something. He who slops flashes onto Blackpink Trash, who is just flashed forward right now. Kenny Hammerspike might just choose to try to leave here. Oh, great pillar from Kenny Train. Takes down He who slops. Kenny Train on a rampage this early game. The right place, right time. If they could have communicated that a little bit better, I think Raptor would have gone out. I don't know if it was worthwhile to expend the flash to actually land the stun on the misfortune. Overall, a pretty good trade and a bench. Yeah, yeah, great placement um, by Kenny Train right there. Sorry, great positioning. Um, I mean, I believe Fat Pikachu might have seen Kenny Train walk down from mid lane. They should have seen that coming, but the the chaos of that, you know, Raptor kill was was probably enough to distract them for enough for a little bit to maybe to get it was Kenny all Train planned. Yeah, maybe it was, it was all planned. It was a bait. chaos. <laughs> it was a bait. Oh man. Kenny Train getting really low taking this dragon, but this first dragon will go in favor of Fat Pikachu. 1k gold lead over to them uh for this early game, which doesn't say a whole lot, but uh might snowball into something bigger if INT doesn't do anything about it. I mean the momentum of the pressure that they use they use they have pressure from jungle mid. If they transition that towards maybe bot side or in kid sit type, you have two you have two tanks on top playing with wet noodles. I don't <laughs> see too much happening there. So yeah. a lot of these rotations are just gonna overwhelm and hopefully end in a dive for bot lane onto the blue side. So he who slaps is gonna have a big uh, a lot of pressure on him to try and avoid a bunch of these ganks. Yeah. Yeah, INT. Gonna try to have to try to find a way in. Bow Explode has been so uh, famous for early aggression to get INT ahead. Uh, and was able to get that Singer Flash early, but Singer's Flash is actually coming up soon. So that gank might not have actually uh, resulted in a whole lot. Uh, Jakku yeah, uh, getting sure. his Flash back. Yeah. Uh, with all the things, getting a Flash is great. But you have to gank a second time mid to, get, to, yeah. to utilize everything you just got there. Otherwise, it's just another cooldown. Yeah, if, if Pogtropus wasn't playing Victor or was playing a champion that would that has more kill pressure, I feel like that that plays better. But um, there's a chance Bugs mm. would have had had other uh, calms going on, taking his attention elsewhere. So, what do you say is the route of how 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 would we say for Bugs Flow to now kind of maneuver into this game? Like, who does he target? Um. That's a good question. I, I think he has to start accelerating this bot lane. If Kenny Hammerspike Ooh. and he who slops, who's already trying to be super aggressive in the bot lane, they get a hook onto Raptor. Raptor gets the stun off into Kenny Hammerspike. Kenny is kiting, but Blackpink Trash taking too much damage has to just even out the fight and call it quits from both sides right now. I think if Bow Explode is able to accelerate that, he who slops can start roaming. He can start leaving bot lane, start forcing plays mid lane. I think Bow Explode tries to focus bot lane here, if I'm him, which I'm definitely not a better jungler than Bow Explode, I'll, I'll give him that, but um, I think that might be the path out. Brock Lee using that explosive cast to get him uh, to safety. I think he might have smelled that jungler was coming. Jakuk getting a lot of damage onto Pugtropus. Pugtropus is forced to ulti to get Jakuk at a lower enough health to, to leave the lane. And Bow Explode might be looking agree with towards you. there. Yeah. Yeah, Blackpink Trash and Raptor are key points into this. If you could inhibit the Ezreal's progress, you're going to be able to open yourself up to a little bit more scaling and a little bit more freedom uh, as the game goes on. But the problem okay. is that with summoners. Oh, oh Storm Bless has to ulti uh, Broccoli. Broccoli just flashes away from the Trundle Pillar and is able to escape. So nothing crazy going on there. Bow Explode. Very smart of him to double check and start pathing towards that Rift Herald. He had a feeling that Trundle might be hunting it. Uh, and honestly, Kenny Train is still kind of hovering that Rift Herald, but Bow Explode uh, is able to get that Scuttle. A nice hook onto Raptor, sorry, onto Blackpink Trash happens from He Who Slops, and a lot of damage goes out in the bot lane. Kenny Train still ganking this top lane right now. Broccoli popping the B emote. Uh, as he's able to just walk away. And that's gonna be a huge hook bot lane. Kenny Train, uh, sorry, Blackpink Trash and Rap Terror going down to Kenny Hammerspike. And he who slops Rap Terror goes down double kill over to Kenny Hammerspike. I am realizing now we have Kenny Hammerspike and Kenny Train in the same game. This is gonna be hard. I think Kenny's gonna win. I think Kenny might win too. I agree with you. <laughs>
So with all the leads that Kenny Hammer Spike could have, he's 2-0 going on to lethality. I'm very optimistic that the carry is going to do some carry things. Yes. Yes, and exactly this is exactly what we, what we were just talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, having that bot lane accelerated would be huge for for INT. And we were talking about having Bow Explode be the one to start that. But honestly, with the way the way Raptor is positioning himself, it makes it really easy for he who slops to try to go for these aggressive or even defensive hooks um, here in the bot lane. So Kenny Hammerspike, he who slops, able to just get that 2v2 lead on their own. No jungler interception necessary. And now this is just an easy, easy game for he who slops is able to roam, make plays around the map, like right now going on to Raptera, who was caught on a ward. Unfortunate positioning by him. He does not have flash to make it out. Candy Train has joined the fight, but he's not gonna be able to save his support. Four kills now to three in favor of In the Trees. I think you are a visionary. You see Let's what it's go. Done. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a little oh, bit man. confused on the side of Kenny Train. I would rather, because you still have pool noodles on top. Like, no kills are happening there for a good while. But yeah. that needs to really focus on a uh, mid angle or just for Harold as well. That early gold on those plates is nothing to be laughed at. It equates to about kill, two kills, and a lot of pressure. Yeah, Jakok has been a star player so far, um, both in FOF Season 7 and in the off season when we were doing Road to Heroic. Um, and you know, people are talking about how great he is in scrims and everything. Um, that I'm kind of surprised Kenny Train isn't paying more attention towards. Oh, flash forward from Bow Explode onto Jakunk has to be forced to flash out. He who slops actually hooking himself forward to try to land this Nautilus ulti onto Jakunk and Bow Explode finally able to catch up. Starts getting these autos onto Syndra. Jakunk goes down. Kenny Train now has to flash out. INT now in the driver's seat for the first time in FOF Season 7. Storm Bless unfortunately doesn't get that Orn ulti through. And INT is actually now pinched a little bit by Fat Pikachu. Fat Pikachu can get this kill. Bow Explode immediately goes down. That's a great Victor W and great Victor ulti. Kenny Train goes down to He Who Slops. Brock Lee and He Who Slops now going to be running away. He Who Slops just trying to force enemy team away from his own teammates and gonna die for his team. That's the way you die for your team as a support in a competitive game. Fantastic play. So much happened, but so little happened at the same time. Right. Right. He's the same amount of goals. I think the biggest difference is that we're seeing this misfortune pick up plates and just get absolutely fed in the situation. Yeah, Jakunk now assigning himself towards that bot side, especially with Blackpink and Raptor covering this mid lane at the moment. Um, INT, now even dragons, even gold, even everything are in a great place right now. They just have to stay confident and they'll be able to win me my channel points. <laughs> now that we have, you're going to get so many channel, you're oh, going to have I'm all, gonna of, get the big, all of the channel points. Oh, yo, please, INT. Sorry, I'm, we're, we're not supposed to be biased on stream. I'm realizing that now, but I, I put 5 channel on <laughs> T, so it's like, whatever, you know? I did put there. my money on to, uh, yeah. onto Fat Pikachu, so I'm hoping that Jakunk can hopefully come out and yeah. lay on a little bit more damage with this. But they seem mm -hmm. to be farming pretty well on the bot lane. The good counter to misfortune. Oh, Herald it is. Yeah, Bow Explode able to sneak that Herald. Kenny Train wasn't um, able to check it. Uh, opted to go for the back as soon as possible. He is down a fair bit of CS. Bow Explode having a lot of tempo right now with that Rift Herald. They might be able to free up bot lane right now. They might decide to choose a mid to take a mid lane and then try to just make it so so Pagtropis can just leave lane and start doing whatever he wants. They are going to opt for this. So lots of tower plate gold heading over uh, to Pagtropis right now. Bow Explode and Hugh Slops even plate. giving him the gold. They're giving him the plate gold. Uh, oh, Bow Explode still got it. Never mind. Um, Kenny Hammer Spike uh, does have to leave this lane. Someone else is going to have to be assigned to the Cinder right now. They can't keep Misfortune down there forever. Um... But yeah, great play by NT so far. Moves, they can rotate very easily. Mm. I'm expecting, I know that INT has a great team fight. Like the Misfortune ult, Nautilus ult, Victor ult, into just every single one of their ultimates does so much AoE damage and it's a really good setup. And I'm just, I have a fingers crossed that Raptor is just gonna like press R and get rid of all of it. Just, just you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see how these Tarek plays uh, go through. There was a really famous Tarek ulti 
uh, last season against INT, where uh, the opposing team was Team Wet, I believe, Wet Team. Uh, mm. They went for this insane gambit where they decided to say, "We don't need, we don't need Elder Drake. We have Targulty," which is not a sentence that you ever really say in, in competitive <laughs> League of Legends. But they they did it and they won the game. So crazy time, Targ Ulti they're might gamblers. be the saving grace. Yeah, they're huge gamblers, yo. Raptor hovering this bush right now, trying to secure the entrance towards Dragon Pit, but doesn't see that the rest of INT was ready for that. Has to flash out from he who slots his hook. Raptor getting a taste of what INT is like after casting for FOF and watching INT games for so long. Yeah, he knows his opponent better than the opponent knows themselves. <laughs> I love the space that they're grabbing too, and the immaculate vision on blue side for INT. Yeah. Yeah, it's lots. Jakunk is getting so much far. So much far. Actually, yeah, Ezreal. Yeah, go. 143, 143 farm. 145. He's Yeah. It's it's a is this perfect farm? This is close to perfect. I think that's close to perfect. I always These are seeing, perfect fundamentals. I almost admire seeing ADCs and FOF because their farm game suddenly goes through the roof compared to their solo queue games. Uh, maybe the pressure of being on camera just makes them never miss a minion or something. Uh, but yeah, black, pink, trash, farming well for this early game. The gold is still actually even, even though um, Bow Explode was able to get a lot of plates off of that Rift Herald. The gold is still uh, more or less kind of even. But I and T are late, a little around, a little late around this dragon fat Pikachu. Might be forced to fight in a second. Brock Lee has teleported to the fight. He who stops makes the first hook happen. Stormblast gets picked off. The Orin ulti comes through. Doesn't actually get to be hit right now. Bow Explode is in the back line trying to make something happen. Pogtropis is also here on the side pinching them. And he who stops and Kenny Hammer Spike. Finally, great. Get a perfect angle for that bullet time. Kenny Train and Stormblast, the only two that can keep fighting in the front line. That's going to be Stormblast, the only one left alive. He who stops is here. Bow Explode dashes forward but realizes he doesn't have his entire team there just yet and that's gonna be nine kills to five total in favor of int they win this dragon fight and int is gonna get their second dragon of the game they have a great amount of uh, momentum here i'm seeing all of these ultimates being utilized this hard goal came out a little bit too early but even with all of that you only have to use the victor ult, maybe the dragasol and then you still can wait a while for the misfortune ult, which really shredded everyone down yeah, incredible play right now. And you know what's crazy about this? You don't you look yes. at this game and you don't see first place versus tenth place right now. That's not that's not even on your mind at this moment. INT is currently bottom of the standings, playing against the top team at the moment here in front of Foe season seven. And tenth place looks pretty good right now against first place. Yeah, I, I honestly I have no clear indication of like which way it's gonna go because while they do have a gold lead, one dragon, I still gotta give it to these Orn items that are gonna come in soon. Like the power spikes yeah. eventually in this later game, the Ezreal poke is going to be invaluable. And the pool noodles, of course, you know, they're never gonna yeah. kill each other. <laughs> I don't know why they're trying. Even Raptor is hovering like, I think I can start something, but you can't. <laughs> All right, nothing, nothing will happen. I'm sorry, dude. He has his own pool noodle to the party. Like, yeah, he, yeah. what was he gonna do? Whack him twice? Yeah. Raptor is actually also going for these really deep wards into the river, almost w without any escort, without any buddy system with him to try to keep himself. Keep He's himself so safe. confident. He's so confident to try to get these wards in, uh, forcing Bow Explode to have to use his scanner, uh, which indicates that uh, Raptor can decide to start warding the opposite side now if he wants to. Um, but Raptor might have to back first before doing so. And everybody now just going back to their normal lane assignments. Bot laners are now mid, and mid laners are now bot. Casual macro game happening at the moment. Oh, Jakunk getting a lot of damage on the Progtropus, but no secure kill. It's these combos for me. Like, they, they yeah. seem to be being played pretty nicely. I think Raptor Ooh. specifically. Okay, oh. he who slops gets the hook onto Raptor, who is backing oh, on gone. a ward. Brock Lee coming in. Raptor uses the target ulti to try to keep himself safe. But that's going to be another hook and bringing Raptor in immediate kill over to Kenny Hammerspike. He is unstoppable in this game. Almost ironically, that didn't even happen when he was overextended. Ooh, so much damage onto Jupiter. Everything's happening. So much is happening here. I mean, there's not a whole lot to 
to, to really fight for. Actually, I'm sorry. I think I think it, I see that Rift Herald's up. Uh, I was gonna say there's not a whole lot to, to fight for at the moment. Um, but with Rift Herald about to probably despawn soon. Uh, Bow Explode taking it by himself, attempting to take it by himself. Curious how that's going. Hog Tropus might be pinched out here between Kenny Train and Jakunk. Unfortunate placement for him. Jakunk almost. Uh, dies there to Pug Tropus would have made it an even kill, but one kill over to Fat Pikachu. Yeah, Fat Pikachu is using immense, like, it's the ability to pick and choose oh. the specific fights. Okay, Bow Rift Herald is dropped. Bow Explode got that Rift Herald, and within the final seconds, I believe, like, before it despawns. I don't know, I don't remember exactly how it works, uh, but this is now going to bring all the intention of all Fat Pikachu members. Jakuk does have teleport, so does Pug Tropus right now. Uh, okay, fight goes forward. Bow explode on to Raptor right now. Kenny Train is on the back line. Kenny Hammer Spike versus Kenny Train. Kenny Hammer Spike has to flash away. Raptor is now going down. Jakuk on the back line. Kenny Hammer Spike goes down. He who slops and Bow explode, fending off three members of Fat Pikachu right now while Jakuk fights Brock Lee. Bow explode and he who slops have to start walking right now. Brock Lee is just autoing Jakuk to death. Brock Lee's gonna have to find a way out. Nice stopwatch slash Jonius from him. It's gonna proc drop us some time to get in but unfortunately broccoli not able to dash himself out that is now i believe a two for one fight in favor of fat pikachu and the fight is still going kenny train and storm bless now fighting against pog tropis he who slop goes down bow explode has rejoined the fight which gives pog tropis the cue to keep going for this fight int now winning this exchange black pink trash is just kiting and kiting and bow explode is finally able to get that kill on to the rest of Fat Pikachu. Triple kill for Pagtropus. It's literally him and Raptor, the only two people left alive from all of this. That crucial pick on Raptor, it was the butterfly. He got picked out and he used his ultimate. It would have been so helpful for that fight. But every with everything that just happened, that's a decisive lead for yeah. INT, and they're looking pretty strong. That's huge, and and INC has first move onto this dragon right now. They'll be able to ward it before Raptor can, because Raptor is trying to defend the top lane. Um, so this dragon could go over. This third Drake could go over to the side of INT soon, and INT is just in a fantastic spot, going against the first place team right now. When you have such a strong team fight, team fighting team that has this much of a lead, I think the option is to maneuver around. Like you don't need to directly fight for that dragon maybe give up one if it can lead to getting like two towers on the other side of the board because none of them are taken but see okay. tensions rising for this though yeah lots of pressure onto this dragon river right now unfortunately fat pikachu don't have like a clear way in they're gonna have to walk into victor if they right, want to go through this choke point this might be a little too difficult for fat pikachu but they're gonna try to just brute force their way in at least storm bless is and that's going to be a nice victor w to try to keep them out okay a fight has begun broccoli gets immediately deleted from this fight but bow explode goes forward onto the back line tarik ulti is live right now he who slops goes down kenny hammer spike goes down fat pikachu are now winning this fight they now win the dragon pack tropis and bow explode oh wait who stole it who oh. got it who got it oh, okay oh, okay sorry, Black sorry. oh Trundle. my goodness yeah, Kenny Train ended up getting that dragon. Bow Explode trying to steal it. Admirable steal, but oh man. Oh, was I scared for a second there. That Ooh. was a lot better team fight than I expected, especially when Kenny Train actually just walks by everyone. Goes straight for the misfortune. Yeah. I think it's just good decisiveness on who to pick out. Yeah, fantastic team fighting decision making right there. That could be a huge swing in favor of Fat Pikachu. The dragons are still even right now, and this Baron does go over to um, Fat Pikachu, but they don't have too many towers uh, taken down, so INT shouldn't be too worried at the moment. They just have to defend to the best of their ability. That entire fight, like, felt like, like all of it might have just been down to allowing Storm Bless into the river. I don't know if you even remember that, but Orin being able to come to the river and start to angle himself. For that, Orin Ulti might have oh, been the might have cool. been the deciding factor from that team fight. Just don't let anyone in the river. If you need to defend Dragon, don't let anyone in the river. He Man. no longer has cool noodles. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, I see overall, I have no idea which way this might swing. Like after all of that, they did so much work and now they have even gold. Even yeah, it, this like game. there is one with Baron buff, of course, but that's a matter of time. Like, who knows? 
For those of you just joining us, again, I'd like to reiterate, this is the 10th place team versus the first place team right now. This season is so entertaining to watch. I'm loving every single bit of it um, so far. Bo Explode, captain of the INT ship, looking for something, trying to force something to happen. Maybe just at least positioning himself to allow his teammates to start warding. Um, Baron Pit doesn't need to be warded anymore. They might want to try to find a pick here in the mid lane. He who slops gonna start walking into this jungle. He feels safe since his jungler is Bo right is next fishing. To him. Yeah, Bo he is fishing. He needs a ward right on now. that other side. Yeah, yeah. He's a patient okay. hunter in this river. Yeah, he needs to be. He needs oh. to be patient now to try Wait, to. Force... He sees it. He sees. Oh, he doesn't have a ward on the other side. Oh, yeah. So close. Unfortunately. Yeah, he might need to start peeing. Oh, okay, Bogues oh, does get caught out. Yeah, he finally gets spotted there. Blackpink Trash playing completely safe, uh, as he should right now, trying to defend this mid lane wave. Now, Fat Pikachu does have Baron. Do they actually get anything out of this Baron? At this point, because of how much they're split up, I they seem to be gearing towards just spreading out the Baron to all lanes, getting a little bit of push in, but I don't see too much being actually done with it, aside from getting it for the gold. Yeah, if INT doesn't, or sorry, if Fat Pikachu doesn't actually get any tower damage on what, while this Baron is active, that, uh, yeah, INT should feel happy about it. INT would be very much okay with sacking a Baron if it means nothing else was lost other than that one dragon. I'm waiting for Orn items. We already have one on the map, but the less happens, the more that will eventually happen because I'm seeing one, one side way okay. more geared towards late game. Okay, here we go. Fat Pikachu finally realizing they need three members to push against two with the Baron minions. Now that the cannon is here, they're getting cannon. a lot. They're getting a lot of damage onto this tower. No. <laughs> INT able to defend this tower. Okay, Broccoli is now starting to walk forward with a the pinch. Fight. They might see it though. He's staying in Pixel Brush just to be safe. But I think Fat Pikachu smells this out. They're not gonna keep pushing anymore. They're just gonna make it safe. Oh, sorry, play it safe. Go back. Spend your money, spend your gold, and Baron's just that'll, that'll be the Baron. Yeah, Baron's done now, too. Crazy. Baron Baron was taken, and no towers. Yeah. A lot of damage on the mid lane one, but not too much uh, after that. Close, but no star. Yeah. Okay. Super close. We okay. are tensing towards the next Ocean Drake. A lot of these heals and sustainability, especially for these team fights, just mm -hmm. being able to stay on the map a lot longer is going to mean a lot for these teams. All right, let's see who controls this river first. Raptor is the first one uh, to arrive to the Dragon Pit, which gives Fat Pikachu a little bit of breathing space right now. It's going to be a little hard for INT to wiggle themselves into this river. He who slops, so confident to try to go for a random pick. I mean, I... Oh, oh that okay, there, there it goes. Kenny Train gets picked right there, but Stormbless is here to join the fight. Oh, that is a huge misfortune ulti. Stormbless starts flashing forward towards Kenny Hammerspike, but Kenny Hammerspike is able to kite this out. This is a perfect fight for In the Trees right now. They just need to move forward. Bow Explode is starting to get deleted. Bow Explode and Kenny Train go down. Both junglers, but Jakunk and Blackpink Trash are the only ones remaining for, Pat Pe for Fat Pikachu. No junglers alive. This should be a free dragon for INT and three kills for one given over to In the Trees. With all this positioning, we still have the same amount of item completions. I think this is what we needed to tip the scales in one direction and to get you a bazillion channel points. Give me my channel points! Come on, <laughs> INT! Oh, man! I, I've i been winning my, my bets so far, and I was a little afraid. Like, everyone in staff room earlier was flaming me for putting 5k on INT. Oh, I cannot wait to see Brendan again after this. <laughs> oh, please, INT. I mean, oh, I'm, what can they do at this point? Like, wait, just build more items, build more items, try and get that most perfect team fight with the most perfect oriental. And then yeah. gonna get uh, mowed down by a misfortune. That beach is not out of this whatsoever. INT, for <laughs> INT could throw this at any point, like any time now, true. INT. INT has to play patiently. They have to play perfectly. It is their to game to lose. It is 100% their game to lose right now. That fourth dragon in four minutes, uh, gonna be a huge deciding factor. It looks like INT is opting to protect the Baron right now to make sure that it's defended and to make sure that Fat Pikachu have no way into it. Uh, I don't know if they really will try to take it and try to coin flip it or not, but INT drops the wards. They're able to walk back out and back to Lena Simon soon, I'm sure. Okay, 
I have a slight theory. Like this is this is just a conspiracy okay. theory. But okay. My suggestion is because of the Orn and the Sindra and the Ezreal gearing towards that incredible late game, maybe not taking all the towers was off their piece. Or they just didn't take all the towers. Like if yeah, the waves yeah. push back a little bit faster, then you're a oh, lot wow. safer. Insane so, macro strategy. Maybe. 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 Like FOF players two always steps back, amazing. five steps forward. They're thinking they're playing chess. They're playing chess. They're five playing chess. chess for sure. Bow explode. Trying to force something through. Nice jump over Jakun stun. Oh, but Bow Explode gets deleted immediately. But so does Black Pink Trash. Jakunk goes down to INT right now. A teleport is a little too late from Stormbless. It's now 4v3. Uh, in favor of INT at the moment, there's going to be no neutral objective uh, to be found because Bow Explode is dead at the moment. Cannot force this dragon in any way, especially with Candy Train alive. So they're going to try to... Oh, they're going to go for a dive. A nice hook from He Who Stops Storm... He Who Slops Storm Bless, taking a lot of damage, but it's just so tanky. Candy Train is just autoing Brock Lee, but Storm Bless goes down immediately. Rap Terror gets hooked. From he who slops, Kenny Train has to start running away right now. He's the only one alive. Brock Lee goes at the E flash. INT is playing so confident right now. Give me my channel points. <laughs> oh. I mean, this tower just gets melted like it's not even there through butter. They're oh, gonna be able man. to grab an inhib, but maybe it's is more gold. Game? No, no, it's not no. Okay, okay, couldn't okay. be. Couldn't be. Okay. So they're gonna yeah. back off. Go for the Baron. Maneuver around, get that soul with the Baron buffs. I Ooh. mean, okay, they're gonna there, try to force just, it. They picked off both carries. What could you yeah. do? Yeah, fantastic sight from Bow Explode to be able to just go for that flash ulti onto Syndra, forcing that Zonia so that there's no Zonias for her when bullet time comes up. Oh my goodness, such a great play from INT, and this is now a Baron going over to INT. One more dragon is up uh, for INT in a minute and a half. All eyes will be towards that dragon pit. You know what? New play? They forget dragon go no no. They should probably contest dragon. But oh the Brent the have... Brendan Gambit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just run it down. Try and like yeah. take as out as he can end the game. Mm. Like get, get them to handshake some kind of yeah. something crazy. Make make ditch, the, play with their egos. Ditch soul for Nexus. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Okay, INT I'm... makes it to River first. Stormbless uh, here as well, but doesn't have his teammates uh, to escort him inside. Now again, this is gonna be this is gonna be auto. space play here. INT has to keep that Pikachu out. That's the literally that's all they have to do. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get this dragon, as long as they can keep Fat Pikachu out of that pit. And Bow Explode is trying to fish for something. He who slops as well, trying to go for that hook, but nothing to be found. INT feels well, look so at the minions. They have to retreat. They have to retreat All right now. Their towers. This, might be, this might be INT trying to force something because of this, but oh, okay, Blast Cone comes through. He who slops and Bow Explode only two engages right now, along with Brock Lee. Doesn't look like a catch is going to happen. Jakunk able to clear off those minions. This dragon is up in 15 seconds, and INT will do anything to keep Fat Pikachu out. Yes. The they don't have to do too much because they could draw attention. Like, if the Syndra splits off to defend mid with the downed inhibitor, like, the more they could just maneuver around and really just find a pick here and there. But yeah. Dragon's already done. Oh, uh, Okay, I was going to say. Okay, INT that been it. at Ocean Soul. Nice attempt by Black Trink Black Pink Trash to try to go for that Ezreal ult steal, but... Uh, INT now Ocean Soul. Tried, They're gonna be much tried. more confident going into this push, especially with Baron right now. Yeah, they tried. Got to respect the play. Uh, they're playing safe. They're not giving away uh, too many kills right now, even though INT is so far ahead. Uh, but Fat Pikachu, this is the first time uh, this season where Fat Pikachu is uh, is having opponents uh, at their Nexus doors, knocking at their Nexus doors. Fat Pikachu, how do you play defensively? Let's see how you decide to handle this. But he who slops decides to be the first one to go forward. He who slops gets a hook on Jakunk. Jakunk gets, or sorry, Jakunk goes into stasis immediately. Nothing else actually happens from all of this though. Brock Lee did throw out the Gragas ulti, but 
Nothing came after that. The rest of Fat Pikachu have to be aware now there that he who spots. Oh. oh, okay. That nice Victor W was able to stop that from happening. Okay, fight goes through. That's going to be Rap Terror going down. Bow Explode goes for the back line. Jakuk is now stunned and immediately gets deleted. In the trees are now marching into Fat Pikachu's base. Kenny Train, the only person left alive. Bow Explode flashing forward. Sorry, dashing forward. Towers going down. Fat Pikachu might have gotten their first loss against INT today of the season. Congratulations in the trees. Congratulations, people who bet with me. Appreciate you. And uh, <laughs> congratulations, Andrew, for having to give me a dollar sometime later in the season. I owe you a dollar now. Thank you so much. INT, win the game. Let's go. Zeller Venmo. Wow. Oh, well, we'll Venmo it. We'll, we'll, we'll total it up later. I'll add a tab. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Repeated wow. exactly over and over. Great play from INT. Uh, they came back swinging. Uh, Bow Explode, uh, Kenny coming back from Japan, immediately wanted to get their revenge for INT's losses so far. Uh, fantastic play. Thoughts, Bean Jar, on INT today. I could imagine them just in Japan, just watching the Twitch streams, be like, I can't wait till I get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Teach yo. them what it's all about. Like, this is literally, like, BNJR and I have been casting FOF since season whatever, season one, season two. Um, and we've always seen INT uh, come out strong, always dominating the league. And, you know, coming into today, we, we knew INT was 10th place at the moment. They have been playing too well. Uh, and uh, BNJR and I finally get to see INT uh, take the reins again, beating the first place team. I have no more channel points. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I am so sorry, not sorry, but insane, insane game. I mean, I, I think anybody who was first place always should fear INT. INT was always the team that if they weren't in first place, they would be the ones to beat first place. If if it, no matter what placement they were, whether they are second place or 10th place, they'll somehow do it. It's crazy. Yep. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, Beanjar. Thank you for joining me for thank today's uh, INT game. We have a couple more games later tonight. Uh, shout out to Adobe Creative Cloud, Logitech Gaming, and Academy of Art uh, for sponsoring us as well. And up next, we have an interview from one of the INT members, I believe. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much.
All right, hello everyone. Chris Edgeworth here with our third and I believe final interview of the night. I am joined by our victorious bow explode of the jungle. Uh, this is a, a big win for in the trees. You guys get the monkey off your back. Yep, uh, we're 0-4 or now 1-4, beating the uh, undefeated Fat Pikachu. It feels really nice. Hell yeah, you know it's the David and Goliath story. You got the, the scrappy, <laughs> scrappy underdogs from 10th place team toppling the titans of fat pikachu which is such a bizarre statement for anyone who follows like has followed friend or foe over the years because yeah uh, yeah it's just it's just not it's not the way that <laughs> sentence is normally organized is how i would yeah. put it um so bo uh let's let's start it off with the with the draft um jarvin uh in your hands uh you made it made it look easy um but then you folks uh also saw some big alts from kenny hammerspike on the on the misfortune uh talk to me a little bit if you uh have some thoughts on your draft plan coming into this game and what you ended up up against yeah so i personally don't really like even playing jarvin but i think he was a really good pick here especially since you know my my comfort picks that you want it does not do well into trundle um and also it pairs well with the carries we have i just ult someone and then misfortune and victor just launch whatever they have even greg is too um, but yeah, even though we picked like a lot of team fight, they spawned with Tark and, and Syndra with a lot of disengage. But I think we played the team fights well enough to combat that. Right on. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh, how the game uh, developed. So in the the earlier part of the game, uh, you folks were were doing a good job of staving off their advances. Uh, what was your what was your folks' feelings? Because as we're going to talk about in a second, there was a point in, in this game where they were able to to come back in uh, and challenge you folks. So what what was your feelings in the in the early game as you got towards uh, that fateful fight? Uh, so early game, we know we're kind of scaling i mean they're kind of scaling too with orn ezreal uh we have victor misfortune but with jarvin obviously you want early ganks i tried looking for some but they weren't really open but somehow we just came out with like an even state so we knew that the team fights later uh were gonna impact the game like basically all or nothing yeah and let's um and then at, at the the team fight i was talking about i want to i think you guys like three of you folks got killed and then that was just like the golden fusion that they they needed and just like reset the tempo really um how how are you folks uh feeling in the game when that happened because it equalized the gold like pretty much exactly yeah we felt pretty in control as long as we didn't like mess up like we did at that team fight uh we're falling between like we had to start drag in order for them to engage on us and then we we're kind of like split on whether we should turn or finish um and we called like half of us turned and then half of us stayed on the dragon and the ones that did turn we kind of like uh went too far and we left kenny to get run down by the trundle uh which is the main reason why we lost the fight i think if we stayed on the dragon and finished it and like peeled off the trundle for kenny we would have won pretty easily all right well i'm gonna serve you up one final softball uh for the end of this interview um i won't make you make an extremely bold statement but i will I will ask you that surely not, surely not you end the season 10th, right? Surely not, not ending 10th. You know, it's a speed run, all right? Me and Panda, INT and Panda with hats, we, we got a secret challenge going on. Oh, okay, your speed, speed <laughs> run, any percent of speed, nice. Yes. Nice. All right, well, Bo, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, yep. Folks, uh, we'll be back shortly. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be getting ready for game number four, so don't go anywhere.